My friend was betrayed and had all his hearts stolen. Now in six hours, I must fake my death to steal every heart in this server so I can revive him. And here's why. Okay, wait, what? What have I just spawned into? And Socks, why is your head here? This is what's left from your teammate. And you're next. It turns out Socks was betrayed and all his hearts were stolen. Now I have under six hours to get 50 hearts and try to revive him or he'll be permanently banned. Okay, just to double check, this is actually you. It's actually his head. What have they done to you, friend? But where am I? What even is this? It doesn't end no matter how far I run. Okay, think quick. What do you have? I have one heart and my heart has just gone down. The longer I'm inside this box, the faster my heart will go down until I have no more and I'm also permaban. Good thing I have one heart right now. So let me redeem that and we're back. Okay, that's good. Luckily, I have a dirt and I have a sapling. Using the bone meal I have, I can make this quick tree. Okay, and it's done. Okay, I can quickly mine this tree. Okay, I have wood to make a crafting table. I can place the crafting table down. While I was thinking of a plan to escape, they were putting in the chat they were coming to kill me. And since I only had six hours to save socks, I couldn't do it with them chasing me. So I had to come up with a different plan, which was faking my death. I have a boat. Okay, please. If I can use the boat, I can maybe glitch out of this place. I can't actually get out of here no matter how far I go. Okay, that plan's gone. Before I can fake my death, I need to first escape this place. Then once I've escaped, I need to replace my main with my ult. So when they come to kill me here, they kill my ult, leaving my main account free. It does look good right now. Because while I'm building this fishing rod, they're on their way with full netherite coming to kill me. And I've lost two hearts. I have an idea though. Since I've made a fishing rod, this might be a very awkward strategy, but it could work. And then socks, I may need to use your head. And I'll place a sign right here. Okay, I have an idea involving the pig this time. Luckily, there was a pig here. I'm inside a warp that's inside a bedrock box. So I've got a simple idea. I'm gonna quickly fish and I want a saddle. Oh, I got a saddle. I got a saddle. Oh my God. Either way, I'm gonna equip you with a saddle pig. And I'm now on one heart. I've only got a little bit of time because they're 20 seconds away from reaching me. The plan I have is simple. I have a boat here. If I can get the pig inside the boat and then push the boat outside of the loop, I can use a fish rod to pull the pig back in and right click helping me escape okay step one's done the pigs disappeared which is good so if i break this i've got the boat but the pig is nowhere near me right now which can only mean one thing the pig has reached outside the loop now if i can fish a rod and try bring the pig back in i don't know exactly where you are one of these should work wait i think i've caught into the pig pull i pulled you wait 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 this is good and shift out oh my god i'm out i'm out of whatever this loop is now the hard part is over and all i do is go in Ow. Oh my god. And the pig just died. I really was in a loop. Now that I escaped with one heart, I had to quickly bring on my ult to replace with my main account. But if they just killed me there, they'd realize that there's someone suspicious. So at the same time, they're going to kill my ult. I need to create a distraction, which means I need to kill another player. After searching through every house, I stumbled across one house where a person was AFK, which would help me with my plan. Okay, I have no idea what Rage is doing, but he's not doing anything. If he comes back at any point, I'm camouflaged. Even if he stares at me, he won't notice me. Okay, wait, no, Rage is back. This might be bad. Because if he spots me at any point, all he needs to do is punch me and I'll die. Maybe I start moving so he can't notice me at all. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna stay here. And now that my main account is camouflaged and watching Rage's every move, I'm on my ult next to exactly where I was trapped. Problem is, how do I get inside here? Because in two minutes, they're gonna come in full their right to kill me off. But they don't know that they're killing the wrong account. And I'm gonna be faking my death. I don't have any time. I need to quickly break this. And now that I have enough mode, I make a crafting table. Now, using the boat, it should be easier to get inside a bedrock than escape it. All I need to do is place the boat in that corner, jump in. And once I shift out, I should be here. Perfect. I'm now back to where I started. So when they come now at any minute, they'll kill me and they'll think I'm dead. Okay, perfect. And now that Rage has stopped moving, I can do the second part of my plan, which I'm going to be taking your invis potion. I'm pretty much sorry. I'm going to lure Vindicators to surround him. And when the time turns right, I'm going to let them kill him, spamming the chat. And you kind of need to come to me. Can you just... Perfect. That's one down. But now if I name tag you Johnny and splash you with an invis potion, he shouldn't really be able to tell. So after spending two minutes bringing all the Vindicators I could and splashing them with invis potions, they arrived at my old account. Oh, the right there this is perfect this oh is stuck in the little bedrock box so <laughs> sad yeah go on you do the honors uh. get him Oh no! At the exact moment I died, I unleashed the Vindicators to kill Rage. So the chat was spammed. Yes, they've killed him once. Block off the note. They've killed him again. Oh my god, the chat's been spammed. The chat's been spammed. I need to let more out. All of you get out. Oh my god, the chat's been spammed. Oh my god, this is insane. With the chat now spammed with Rage dying, they didn't have time to check if that was really me. 
So they believed it. And now they thought I was dead. I think Kipley and Cole are currently in that house right now. And since I'm currently dead, I need to use multiple versions of camouflage to just run around this SMP. Because if I get caught, they'll notice I'm still alive and kill me. And rescuing my friend won't no longer be an option. And the reason I changed my skin to Acacia is simple. Currently inside their house, they're playing a game of darts. And they're betting hearts. So if I can infiltrate their house, I can steal their hearts. And I can rescue my friend. Okay, they're currently playing darts right now. They're currently in there right now. Oh my god. Right now, I look completely out of place. If a random person was running about, he'd easily spot me. I had to slowly infiltrate this place. Okay. I had to go kind of down. I could kill them both easily with a trap, but I'd only gained one heart. And in four hours, I won't have enough hearts to actually help my friend. So I need to resort to stealing. Oh my god, they're right beneath me. I don't know what kind of game this darts is. If they shoot the target block, hearts will drop out of here. He's on one heart too, so the temptation to shoot him right now and kill him. But if I kill him, they know I'm alive and then I'll die. But the hearts are right there. Oh! Let's go! You did it! Hey, I'm really good. It's here. right there. It's right there. I've grabbed it! I've got one heart. Oh, um, okay. You know what? No, I'm gonna have to have you start spinning around go, and then do it. Go, go, go! I've got two hearts now! Oh, uh, I've only got two hearts and they're already Are sus. You playing tricks on me? After they spent five minutes playing dots, I was gaining a lot of hearts, but they got way too suspicious. I, I thought I did, man. The, the three you, are the only ones I have. You have no extras? Oh my god. Okay, let me just escape out of here too. After scamming 13 hearts from the darts machine, I still needed 37 more to save socks. And in two hours, what could I do? But that's when I remembered there's currently a blackjack machine going. And I have an idea. Since I'm the first one here, I'm going to change my skin to this to now this. Because the plan is when they're playing, I'm going to run from each side and rig it. So when they lose, the owner will get a bunch of hearts. But little did they know I've rigged it so when the hearts come down, they're going to flow all the way to my house using a machine I built. And just as the machine got finished, they were already playing. Oh my god, they're all there right now. I was good to camouflage the emerald block because from their perspective, they can't see me at all. Oh no, they're going to get 11 next, aren't they? While they're going to play, I'm going to run from the right side to the left side, rigging the machine so they always lose. And it's going off already. Down I go. Now when I tinker with the redstone, it'll stop at any point I want it to, helping me rig the vote. Click that redstone there and it should have stopped. How is the computer so good at this? Oh my god, I've rigged it so it stops. Okay, stop that and it should go off again. I just thought that it's going off again. I think this is the last one. Go, 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 go. Make my way down. Come on. I need to rig this so they lose because this is the highest they've bet. Yo! <laughs> After they left, I went back to my house and I gained over 13 hearts. And I only had one hour left to revive socks. But at the same time, people would get suspicious that the hearts were going missing, which led them to have a meeting. So in good fashion, I had to attend. We need to talk about some stuff, okay? Who has been stealing my hearts from my dark game? Okay, this is I, good. I, this is good. I, yeah, I don't have any Please hearts. don't know it's me. Look at me. Wait, Are you guys sure Cliff is dead? Oh, wait. No, this wait, is bad. Are you? So yeah, pretty yeah sure. wait. I watched him die. Kipley was onto me. She had a feeling I wasn't really dead. And if she looked looked a little to her right, she'd notice me standing right there. So I had to end this meeting in the best way possible. Okay, there whoa, we go. Whoa, whoa. Who just what just happened? Me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yo. Me, yo, 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 yo. I don't want to be any part of this. Let me just Stouty. back away. As the fight was going on, I had to get out of range or I'd die. What is this? What's going on? No, no. Get away from me. No. This is insane. What? Oh. Oh my god, okay. I'm not in the best position. After Cyclone won, I tried to steal some hearts and ran out, but I only got 14. Let me run. Oh my god, oh my god, wait. I have no hearts. And with 30 minutes left, I had to come up with a plan to kill him and take every heart possible. Cyclone's right there. Oh my god, okay. Which makes the next step to my plan perfect. I'm gonna trap Cyclone's respawn anchor. So when he dies, he's gonna be stuck in an infinite death loop. Okay, he's gone. That's exactly where he's gonna spawn. Okay, this is looking good. Oh my god, where did that come from? After spending two minutes building the machine, I went to find Cyclum to kill him. Oh my god, don't look at me. Perfect. Bye! He missed the interpill! He's permadying! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is perfect! This is, is an infinite death loop! After checking how many hearts I gained, it was enough to revive socks. And before anyone could come and kill me, I did that. I don't think anyone's gonna find us here. Okay, go, 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 go! Yo, socks, you're back! Okay, before anyone comes, kills. Yippee! Subscribe right now! I just rescued my friend!